one of you that classed your comments on Facebook and social media and called five of your friends to get involved in this very serious situation. Bravo, give yourselves a round of applause. I don't know if there's much more I can say. I think Shirley said it all and Stephanie said it all, but I'm gonna add my three cents worth it. My name is Carrie Simpson and I head up an organization called Culture Guard. For years we have been monitoring the demise of the family unit in this nation. And it's in a sad and scary state of affairs, people. And if we don't step up to the plate now, you're gonna lose. And I say it's time that we just turn the tables. We can only be kind and considerate and compassionate and patient for so long. Our children are paying the price. This nation is paying the price. And at what point do we say enough is enough? Is enough enough now? I think so. Sandra almost did me in when I heard that there was something against yellow cars in this province. You can't wear yellow, you can't drive yellow because you might be a school bus and that's supposed to say this premier cares about kids. Forget it. That's madness. It's time, people, that we took this fight to our politicians and became involved. We sent off a press release, a big notice to Prime Minister Harper about what is happening in this nation, and we said enough is enough. Every year, these provinces that allow for these laws and statutes and policies and things to be infiltrated to your kids through the system, every year they get billions and billions of dollars in transfer payments. Sex has become an industry. It's a billion dollar industry here with people perverting themselves with different kinds of acts that cost me money. I don't know. I think it's time to end that. I don't care what somebody does in their bedroom. I just don't want to pay for it. Enough. We said to Prime Minister Harper, and we sent off a letter to McLaren Trudeau as well saying, those transfer payments that go out to the province, $57 billion need to be contingent on them bringing in laws and statutes that will protect your right as parents, that will protect your children. And if they don't bring them in, then they get penalized. You think Catherine Wynne would lose a billion dollars to bring in this education? I don't think so. Money speaks, people, and we have to start speaking the language of politicians. We are the taxpayers. We own this country, we run this country, and we need to step up to the plate and play ball. We have a federal election coming this October. There needs to be a very clear message sent to every elected politician that the family unit needs to be protected, not intruded upon. Government needs to butt out of our business. They need to stop making money off of our kids. And agendas through the public education system through a captive audience called the Young Minds of Canada must stop. Parents have rights. And those rights must be evident in every law. Every school act across this nation. You don't get your transfer payments unless you recognize parental rights and bringing in what you're doing within your education system. Every provincial school act should have that provision within its statute. Every infants act. Do you know your kids in a lot of these provinces can go get abortions at 12 and you won't even know about it as a parent? Apprehension issues. BC, Ontario, billion dollar industry. Why? Because kids are taken out of their home. Well, where are we putting them? The foster system? I don't think so. Enough assault on the family unit. You know, I was thinking about this rally and how appropriate it is as the bells hum in the background. How appropriate it is that in this day and age we're worried about our national security when the greatest threat to this nation is what's happening to the family unit. Let's turn our attention from all those suspicions on the outside, some real, some manufactured, some overly inflated, and look at the real threat about what's going on in this
this nation. And that's the undermining of the family unit. The undermining of your role as a parent and your ability to speak into the lives of your children. Enough is enough. Let's get loud, Ontario. I look at the lip service that's paid to families. I look at the fact that people say, oh, well, I'm getting this tax credit and that tax credit. Well, this isn't about money, people. This is about your family, the health and well-being of your children, here, here. the rights within your family Woo! to instill your values, your morals, your religious beliefs, your cultural beliefs. It is not the right of the state to impose those things on us, this lady, this lovely Stephanie told you. That is not what a free and democratic nation is about. And I'll tell you, it's time that we stood on guard for the most important commodity that we have in this nation, and that's our children. The state has never proven itself to be a good parent, ever. Look at where drug education's got us. I mean, now we have kids in rehab going right down to five and six years of age. Has sex education in the past worked? Well, I don't think so. Now we put daycare centers in junior high schools. Like, what is going on? You know, I mean, the, the irony to this is that the evidence is so in front of us. Things have to change, and you as parents shouldn't be putting your energy into fighting your elected officials that are there to represent you. We're here. We're here. Catherine Wynn only has two choices. Resign or rescind the education curriculum. she might have to consult one person. Rescind or resign, Catherine Wynn. Easy, easy situation, people. Now I'm going to ask you guys to do something that is going to be the most powerful movement that this nation has ever seen. This is a united front. I have never seen so many people, groups, religious beliefs, faith groups, cultural groups come together because there is a common denominator, the love of our children. And the love for our children flies under the banner of this nation, which is to be free and democratic and to have a voice in what goes on. And it's time that that voice got louder, people. And we are a good and common sense and decent group of people. But it has gotten out of control what is going on. Your tax dollars are being used against you. That's the interesting thing, right? We're paying for our own demise. I won't get into what's costing to have all these nonprofit organizations show up to fight and bring in these curriculums on behalf of the sex activists. We need to say enough. We need to educate ourselves. We need to align ourselves and stay united and put those efforts into productive, moving forward work with one message. Our children, our choice. And what do we say about this education curriculum? We say no. And we are gonna continue to say no. As long as it's an issue. But we can do more people with this election coming up with the federal government. And we need to expand our efforts just a little bit to make sure that none of us have to go through these kinds of rallies again. Let's get elected officials to put the family unit as a priority. We need to make sure that anyone elected into the office, and I don't care whether it's your local MP or into the office of the Prime Minister, that they recognize that they don't mess with the family unit in this nation. We're going to look at those transfer payments. $57 billion of your money, people, your money, go out to these provinces and there will be a penalty. We will put a list of provisions that we require these provinces to adopt and at
at the heart of every issue, every law, every policy will be the recognition that the family unit is the best place, the safest place, and the greatest place to raise kids. History has shown us, history has shown us what happens when the state comes in and starts abusing the rule that they have in the lives of our children. We just had a big uh, reconciliation uh, tree and expert come in and say, you know, what happened to the kids at the residential schools was not right. Why? Because the state imposed what it thought was best for those kids on those kids. And we say, no! no. We've seen historically what happens when kids are taken and their beliefs are twisted and you use sex and drugs to do that. Man, you know what it is? It's an agenda of chaos within your home. And while you are at home dealing with the chaos created by these kinds of agendas, you can't be involved politically. That's what the agenda is. How convenient for politicians like Catherine Wynne. Well, we say no. It's time for the people to rise up. This is simple, this is not complicated. Government and its overextension into the family must end, and it must end sooner than later. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Stephanie's gonna come back now and read some statements from parent groups, um, and then I'm gonna come back and, and read um, what we can do in the next few days.